Welcome back. You're watching our special broadcast on the race to Raisina Hills. Country is voting, rather the legislators are voting for the 14th president of the country. But first up, a look at the top headlines of the hour. Voting underway to elect 14th president of India. Polling to continue till 5 p.m. Counting of votes on July 20th. MPs. MPs and MLAs choose between Ramnath Kovind and Meera Kumar. 32 polling stations in Parliament and various state assemblies. Prime Minister Modi, former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi among the big leaders who cast their vote to choose Pranab Mukherjee's successor. And monsoon session of Parliament begins. Houses of Parliament adjourned till 11 a.m. on July 18th after paying obituary references. So our, so our continuous coverage continues here for the for the race to Raisina Hill, who is going to be the next president of the country. With us, our special guests, VK Agnihotri, Subhash Kashyap, and senior uh, uh, journalist Rahul Dev. Uh, welcome you again after an exhaustive discussion which we've had on the president's office. But I'd like to begin with you, uh, Mr. Kashyap, again. Uh, what are the broader indications of this election? Apart from the politics, apart from the symbolism, tokenism, what has been that outstanding point which has really hit you? this election very personally yeah i think that the status of the president has been brought down which is uh, painful and why do you say that well for various reasons the topmost being the consideration which i said already earlier the consideration on which the candidates are expected as I was mentioning during the break, one, can, one president belonging to a particular community told me first-hand one-to-one -one meeting that if he did not belong to that community, could he have ever been elected as president? So the pre if the president is elected on the basis of his community or caste, he can never forget the basis on which he rose to the highest pedestal in the country. So that is uh, most un unfortunate, and uh, that means that uh, the office of the president has been uh, reduced in its stature. But Mr. Akhtihotri, if you talk about the caste factor again, I'll come back to. Uh, do you feel that media obviously has made a big hue and cry about the caste factor, but don't you feel that this probably has been the biggest opportunity for the BJP to to go on a Dalit outreach program and make the Dalits and the OBCs and the SEs to realize that, look, we are going to empower a Dalit and make him the first citizen of the country. But it is not the first time that a Dalit has become the president of uh, India. There, earlier, Mr. Narayan, Secondary. I think... Uh, that is disputed, uh, disputed, but... Uh, disputed, but yes, secretary. there is a president because... No, but when, when BJP says this, then it does make a difference. But what is what, from your original question, to your original question, my response would be that making this election a prelude to the uh, general election, that is something unique that has happened because okay. if you see for several years, right. it is not the first time that a presidential election is just held two years before the general election. Mm. There have been several instances in the past. Actually, it all started way back in 1969 when there was this split and all that. And of course, in between, parties have been coming and going. Shorter duration Lok Sabhas have been there. But uh, for the last several years, this has been the practice that the president election is just two years before the general election. But this time, somehow, it has come into focus mm. that we are now getting ready for the next round of general elections. इस चर्चा को आगे बढ़ाए उससे पहले कुछ रिएक्शन सुन लेते हैं जो आज वोटिंग के दरमियान हमारे राजनेताओं ने दी मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि आत्मा की आवाज सुनी जाएगी क्योंकि इससे पवित्र और इससे शक्तिशाली और कुछ नहीं है 
और देश के हित में देश के भविष्य के लिए निर्णय लिया जाएगा two candidates it will it is between two ideologies so the president uh, of india is occupying such a position uh, who has to uh, safeguard the interest of the entire nation sab mps ke upar aur sab mlas ke upar apni andaratma ke aadhar par apni conscience ke aadhar par vote dale bhartiya loktantra mein samvidhan ke rakshak hain rashtrapati राष्ट्रपति का जो पद है वह इतना गरिमा और भव्यता से भरा हुआ है कि उसके बारे में एनडीए ने जो फैसला लिया है वो उचित और अनुकूल है और हम सब लोग उनके लिए वोट डाल रहे हैं ये जीत हार एक अलग चीज है लेकिन अच्छी बात ये है कि दोनों में से कोई भी जीते लेकिन खुशी की बात ये है कि सुर का आदमी तो देश का राष्ट्रपति बनेगा ये पद जो है ये इस देश का सर्वोच्च पद है इस देश के संविधान की रक्षा करने की जिम्मेवारी राष्ट्रपति की होती है हम यही कोशिश और हमारी आशा यही रहेगी कि अच्छे व्यक्ति जो इस पद की गरिमा को रख सकते हैं संविधान की रक्षा कर सकते हैं वो जीते और इसमें कोई अब क्योंकि राष्ट्रपति का चुनाव है अब अन्य कोई राजनीति वोटिंग के बाद न देखी जाए निशाने में है वो कहीं आखिर मोमेंट पर अपना वोट बदल के आ... मीरा कुमार साहिबा को कामयाब करें लेकिन अगर अभी के नंबरों पर जाएं तो लगता है कि एनडीए को जो है इस इलेक्शन में एडवांटेज है 20 तारीख को निर्वाचित होने के बाद वो बीजेपी के राष्ट्रपति नहीं होंगे देश के राष्ट्रपति होंगे राष्ट्रपति का पद देश का सर्वोच्च पद है इसीलिए हम फिर दोहराते हैं संविधान के अभिभावक की भूमिका मूल्यों की रक्षा सत्ता पक्ष को मान्यताओं को आईना दिखाने की क्षमता बने आधार इसीलिए श्रीमती मीरा कुमार देश की राजनीति में विचारों के संघर्ष और लोकतांत्रिक मूल्यों को कायम रखने की चुनौती राष्ट्रपति के इस चुनाव में है हमारी पार्टी ने रामनाथ कोविंद का समर्थन किया है और हम वो आज विजयी होंगे ऐसा हम मान के चले ये राष्ट्रपति का चुनाव हमेशा आम सहमति से होना चाहिए और ये भी तय है कि रामनाथ कोविंद को जीतना भी है तो फिर हम सहमति से हो जाता तो हमने तय किया है कि राष्ट्रपति के चुनाव में रामनाथ कोविंद को ही वोट करना चाहिए देशवासियों ने रामनाथ कोविंद जी को आदर किया और स्वीकार किया और हमारे देश में रामनाथ कोविंद जी राष्ट्रपति बनेंगे ये निश्चित हुआ है मुझे पूर्ण विश्वास है बहुत बड़े अंतर से राष्ट्रीय जनतांत्रिक गठबंधन के प्रत्याशी और उत्तर प्रदेश के सपूत श्री राम कोविंद जी भारत के महामहिम राष्ट्रपति के रूप में निर्वाचित होने जा रहे तो आपने सुना राजनेताओं को वोटिंग के दरमियान या वोट करने के बाद उनके बयान लेकिन वापस लौटते हैं चर्चा बहुत अहम पॉइंट एक रेस किया सुभाष कश्यप साहब ने जब हम बात कर रहे हैं जाति को लेकर या फिर धर्म को लेकर देश के सबसे बड़े पद को लेकर सुभाष कश्यप जी जिन्होंने कहा कि जो उनकी एक बातचीत हुई एक राष्ट्रपति महोदय से उन्होंने कहा कि वो अगर इस का से नहीं होते तो शायद राष्ट्रपति नहीं होते राहुल जी लेकिन इसका मैं दूसरा पहलू समझना चाहूँगा यानी कोई शख्स अगर उस समाज से आता है और राष्ट्रपति होने के बाद उसके अंदर ये फीलिंग है कि वो अगर उस समाज से नहीं होता तो उसे नहीं चुना जाता यानी उस समाज फिर कितना अपने को सफोकेटेड महसूस कर रहा होगा देश के संवैधानिक ढांचे के अंतर्गत या फिर बहुत ज़्यादा साइडलाइन रहा होगा ये भी एक बड़ा फैक्टर हो सकता है एक फीलिंग किस तरीके से होती है उसकी देखिए राजनीति एक तरह से ऐतिहासिक अन्यायों और अभावों को दूर करने का सर्वोत्तम माध्यम होती है नया इतिहास रचने का सर्वोत्तम माध्यम होती है इसलिए इन सारे प्रतीकों का बहुत महत्व है प्रतीकों को हम राजनीति से अलग नहीं कर सकते अंततः वो लेकिन जहाँ तक इस पद का प्रश्न है सबसे उचित तो शायद ये होता कि इस पद पर जो देश के सामने दो सर्वोच्च व्यक्ति मौजूद हों हर विचार और हर कसौटी से परे हर राजनीतिक कसौटी से परे उनके नामों पर विचार किया जाए और दोनों पक्षों में पक्ष और विपक्ष अगर रहें और रहने चाहिए सर्वानुमति ना हो तो भी दोनों में होड़ इस बात की हो कि मैं कितना बेहतर उम्मीदवार सामने रख सकता हूँ ये ये मैं समझता हूँ कि आदर्श स्थिति होगी 
और वो ऐसा हो कि छोटे से छोटे वर्ग का प्रतिनिधि भी या छोटे से छोटे क्षेत्र का प्रतिनिधि भी अगर वो वहाँ से भी आता हो लेकिन वो अपने सार्वजनिक जीवन के और अपने विचारों में उसने ये प्रदर्शित किया हो और करने की क्षमता रखता हो कि वो इन सब से परे केवल राष्ट्रहित में काम कर सकता है वो संविधान की संवैधानिक ज़रूरतों को उसकी बारीकियों को समझता है उनके मूल्यों को बनाए रखने के लिए कुछ भी करने को तैयार होगा वही उसकी अंतिम कसौटी होगी right. तो ये मैं समझता हूँ कि सचमुच गौरव की बात होगी ऐसे किसी व्यक्ति को चुनना वो but, किसी भी पार्टी से हो बट राहुल एज मिस्टर अग्निहोत्री एंड मिस्टर काश्यप बोथ ऑफ पॉइंटेड आउट दैट द मोस्ट आउटस्टैंडिंग फैक्टर ऑफ दिस इलेक्शन बीन द फैक्ट दैट इट हैज बीन द मोस्ट पोलिटिकल प्रेजिडेंशियल इलेक्शन इज वॉट दे हैव सीन टू सी दैट इट्स अ डेंजरस बिगिनिंग समवेयर बिकॉज the die has already been cast in fact the mold has already been prepared by the ruling dispensation for uh, the, the for the future presidential elections so do you see this as some kind of a dangerous beginning or you would see it as some kind of a positive divergence as far as the, uh, the presidential elections are concerned is this the first presidential election where this has happened no i don't think so there's nothing new i mean this has been going on and we have been discussing uh, for hours uh, now we have had this this uh, culture of presidential uh, culture and manner of presidential election for for decades now maybe a day will come in the uh, in the future where uh, these consider consideration would not matter uh, but as of now we, we shouldn't be surprised at the way things have gone uh, this time um, and and uh, you know we can go on bemoaning the fact that the every single party is again stressing on the same uh old hackneyed and beaten issues uh and not rising above them ye ye bhi bahut aham baat rahul ji aapne kahi lekin anmul sahab jo baat hum log lagata kar rahe hain kya waqai aisa hai ki desh mein agar kisi jati kisi dharm kisi samuday se aap desh ke sarvokshi pad par kisi pratyashi ko la kar bithate hain to woh samuday ya jati uska zyada uthan hota hai ye samuday woh jati us party us गठबंधन के साथ खड़ी होती है ये वाकई मिथी है ये वाकई इसमें कहीं थोड़ा सा नफा नुकसान भी होता है पार्टियों को अवश्य ही जो जनरल इलेक्शन है उसके उसको अगर मद्देनजर रख के इस तरह का निर्णय लिया जाएगा तो कुछ ना कुछ तो उससे कुछ उससे पॉलिटिकल बेनिफिट तो पार्टीज को मिलना ही है लेकिन हमारे यहाँ बेसिक समस्या ये है एक ये सामाजिक समस्या है जिसको कि मैं कहता हूँ फैमिली वैल्यूज कि अगर आप किसी समुदाय से आते हैं या किसी जाति से आते हैं और अगर आपने अपने जाति के लोगों के लिए हित के लिए काम नहीं किया और आप सबसे ऊपर उठ गए और आपने कहा कि भाई अब तो हम इस पद पर बैठे हैं तो हम तो ना इस जाति के हैं ना उस समुदाय के नहीं हैं तो फिर आपके लिए बड़ी समस्या हो जाएगी तो हमारे यहाँ कुछ ऐसा कल्चर ही बना हुआ है नीचे से ही कि अपने किसी जाति के लोग को अगर कहीं आगे बढ़ना पड़ता है तो पचास लोग पहुंच जाते हैं भाई आओ हमारी जाति के हो हमारे लिए कुछ करो इससे ऊपर उठने की शक्ति जिसमें होगी और जो कर पाएगा या किया भी है कुछ लोगों ने तो वो बड़ी अच्छी बात बट मिस्टर कश्यप लाइक वॉट एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट मिस्टर अग्निहोत्री हैज़ पॉइंटेड आउट बट हाउ डज द प्रेसिडेंट्स ऑफिस avoid the accusation of being a rubber stamp president because obviously if he's doing everything according to the wishes of the ruling dispensation he gets a label of a rubber stamp if he doesn't do things uh, for his community he gets another label so how does he rise to the occasion and prove himself how does a how does a what does it call for a behavior of the president then as i said earlier it much depends upon the personality of the president irrespective of the caste or community to it which he belongs and i'll give you two names who were certainly about this kalam venkatraman right <coughs> nobody nobody can ever accuse venkatraman for having done something because he belong to a particular caste nobody can blame kalam for having done something because he was a muslim right the prime duty of the president any president is to be a defender of the constitution mm. and to he takes an oath of the constitution and he is the preserver protector and defender of the constitution so once a person is elected as president his guidance should come only from the constitution right 
to the extent that the constitution provides that he should act on the aid and advice of the council of ministers he has to do that but there are areas where he has to act in his discretion and only in his discretion he can take whatever advice he likes from whatever quarter but he must act in his discretion right in those areas and according to discretion should be exercised in accordance with the constitution and nothing else right but rahul uh, before we go to vishal daya who joins us from parliament i would like to come uh, to you with one question and that is the fact that uh, when the president's office has to be an apolitical office he has to think beyond a political narrative but in the present context when you see a single party dominance with a party like bjp which has a brute majority and the opposition is almost marginalized we almost see a zero opposition how do you think that the president of the country will not have political survival as the overriding thought in his mind because obviously the opposition is thinking of their political survival the uh, the, the ruling dispensation will think about their political survival so is it not a very big or the president's office at that time to to remain impartial not to uh, follow the lines totally of what uh, uh, the dictations are coming from the ruling dispensation i think uh, uh, subsequent to what uh, subhash ji was just saying our past presidents and uh, several of them have shown that no matter where and how they were elected they have shown the sagacity the wisdom and the independence uh, of uh, by sticking to constitutional uh, values and they have not buckled uh, to to pressure or other political considerations we have seen it happen and we know it's possible for a president to to behave this way so no for the president political survival is not a consideration at all uh, doesn't matter what is the constitution of the lok sabha or the rajya sabha what is the uh, political uh, he has to he or she has to go by strictly by uh his or her understanding of the constitution constitution provisions values and purposes uh and use his discretion now that discretion is a subjective issue mistakes can be made mistakes have been made by presidents in the past and the controversies have arisen but uh, most of them uh, in the recent past have been mistakes and uh, honest errors of judgment maybe or assessment but to uh, presume that uh, because this is uh, this uh, lok sabha is uh, loaded heavily in favor of the bjp and uh, in, not in favor of the opposition it would reflect on the uh, performance of the coming president is uh, i think uh, a little premature and unnecessary shri aur aur ye parliament chalna padega jahan par vishal dayya is waqt hain kuch aur updates ke sath vishal dopahar ka waqt aur मौसम के हिसाब से जो संख्या है कितनी कम या ज़्यादा नज़र आई अब तक और बार बार हम जो बयान राजनेताओं के आ रहे हैं चुनाव यानी कि मतदान से पहले या उसके बाद में अंतरात्मा की आवाज़ विचारधारा की लड़ाई क्या कुछ यही सब कुछ वहाँ भी चल रहा है सुनाई दे रहा है जी बिल्कुल देखिए हालांकि यहाँ तस्वीर लगभग साफ है दोनों खेमों में क्योंकि ये तय हो चुका था कई दिन पहले से कि कौन पार्टी किसको समर्थन दे रही है और हालांकि चुनाव आयोग के जो निर्देश हैं उनके मुताबिक कोई भी विप जारी नहीं की जा सकती पार्टी की तरफ से अपने सांसदों या विधायकों को किसी भी उम्मीदवार के पक्ष में या वोट डालने के लिए लेकिन लगभग एक 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 तरह से तस्वीर पिछले कई दिनों से साफ दिखाई दे रही थी कि रामनाथ कोविंद जो कि एन के उम्मीदवार हैं उनके पक्ष में आंकड़ों की जो संख्या है अंक गणित जो है वो उनके पक्ष में है और मीरा कुमार जो कि विपक्ष के उम्मीदवार हैं उनके पास एक यूनाइटेड विपक्ष जिसे कहा जाए एक 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 मजबूत विपक्ष जिसे कहा जाए वो ज़रूर उनके साथ है लेकिन उस मजबूत विपक्ष के पास उतना अंक गणित नहीं है उतने सांसद और विधायक नहीं हैं कि वो उन्हें जीत तक पहुंचा सकें हालाँकि जब तक रिजल्ट यानी कि नतीजे की घोषणा नहीं होती तब तक ये कहना ठीक नहीं होगा कि कौन जीता है लेकिन जिस जिस तरह से जो समर्थन के बयान आए हैं और जिस तरह से अलग अलग पार्टियों ने अपने अपने जो विचार हैं वो जाहिर किए हैं समर्थन को लेकर उस पर अगर नज़र डालें तो लगभग 40 के आसपास ऐसी पार्टियां हैं छोटी बड़ी जिन्होंने रामनाथ कोविंद का समर्थन किया जबकि मीरा कुमार के समर्थन में 
सिर्फ 18 के आसपास पार्टियां हैं जो मैदान में उतरी हैं और इसमें अगर थोड़ा सा प्लस माइनस भी कर लिया जाए तो भी रामनाथ कोविंद का पलड़ा भारी नजर आता है इस वक्त और मोटे तौर पर सात सौ सांसद हैं जिनको वोट डालनी थी यहाँ संसद भवन में आज और उनमें से ज़्यादातर सांसद अपने मताधिकार का प्रयोग कर चुके हैं आप, आप लाइन की बात कर रहे थे कि कितनी लंबी लाइन है क्या वो छोटी हुई है तो सुबह 10 बजे से जब पहला वोट प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी ने डाला था उसके बाद से बहुत ही लंबी लाइन देखने को मिली सभी सांसद एक के बाद एक अपना वोट अपने मताधिकार का प्रयोग कर रहे थे लेकिन अब वो संख्या थोड़ी सी कम होती जा रही है right. एक इसलिए क्योंकि ज्यादातर लोग अपने मताधिकार का प्रयोग कर चुके हैं और दूसरा शायद जो दोपहर के बाद का समय होगा और जो लोग बच गए हैं वो शायद दोपहर के बाद के समय में अपने मताधिकार का प्रयोग करना चाहे right. विशाल एज फार एज रिजल्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी इलेक्शन कंक्लूजन we'll all see ramnath govind the uh, getting elevated to the president's uh, uh, post but as far as the opposition camp is concerned uh, they are putting up a fight in terms of uh, giving their statements to the media uh, we heard meera kumar also talking about inclusivity freedom of speech and all the values for which the secular lobby stands for at the moment but somewhere down the line the opposition the spirit of the opposition has it not got reduced to just a face saving exercise well uh, you know uh, critics have termed it as a face saving exercise uh, and uh, the opposition leaders have uh, debunked this theory saying that no it is not it is uh, uh, the responsibility and duty of the opposition to go ahead and uh, uh, put up a strong candidate and uh, uh, you know a fight on the values which uh, the opposition parties believe in and that's exactly what the statements have been coming in from uh, the candidate from the top leaders of the opposition parties but yes uh, the opposition this has been an opportunity for the opposition to try and look within to try and find out as to where they stand not only in terms of number but in terms of their unity and they seems to have uh, got a realistic uh, uh, vision out here especially yeah. in terms of uh, uh, the presidential election where in one of their important constituents the janata dal united uh, uh, you know, splintered away they moved away from uh, the opposition uh, uh, benches and they uh, supported rather ramnath kovind who is the government nominee uh, although uh, they have come back to the fold in terms of vice presidential election and they are now supporting uh, the opposition's united candidate uh, in the vice presidential election where again uh, the numbers are not in their favor so clearly it is entirely uh, can be uh, termed as an exercise for the opposition right. to uh, look within their camp to try and figure out where they stand to uh, uh, see whether or not they can keep their flock together even in uh, uh, you know uh, tough and difficult circumstances like these where in numbers not at all are in their favor right but how would you read uh, mr shipal uh, shipal yadav statement who in the sound bite which just came he said that consensus agar candidate hota to acha hota how would you read because there were reports coming in that apparently mulayam singh yadav and shipal yadav uh, will break ranks with the opposition and they will vote for ramnath kovin how would you read his statement well uh, you know it it is uh, quite confusing at this point in time the statement coming from shivpal yadav because if you look at uh, samajwadi party as a whole entity this might not be a consensus candidate for uh, shivpal yadav as a member of the electoral college but as far as his party is concerned well all of us know that his party was pretty much represented in all the opposition meetings uh, uh, with respect to the uh, you know presidential nominee being guys presidential uh, nominee filing their uh, you know her uh, uh, nomination uh, for this particular post uh, uh, we all remember one or the other leader of uh, shivpal yadav's party being present there so clearly this cannot be uh, uh, you know uh, uh, defense or rather this cannot be taken as overall uh, whole stand of the party as a whole but then uh, once again this entire election is all about the members of the electoral college uh, uh you know exercising their uh, voting rights uh, on their own free will so right. yes it can be termed uh, in uh, you know it can be taken into reference in in terms of uh, what exactly is happening inside the uh, samajwadi party uh, itself uh, but then uh, it definitely if uh, members right. like shivpal yadav and mulayam singh yadav also if that happens are moving away from uh, what the opposition believes uh, is their line then this definitely would right. be a blow 
to the opposition unity uh, and the strategy managers of the opposition will definitely have to have a rethink on where they are going and which path they are following. Right. Just hold your thoughts there. I would like to uh, get in Mr. Rahul Dev here. I remember at the beginning, uh, Samajwadi Party leader Naresh Agarwal uh, in, in one of his uh, interviews had said that Meera Kumar is the first choice and the personal choice of the Samajwadis. In one of his interviews to uh, one of the print magazines or, or, or a new, news channel, he did say this. And now we see a shifting stand. Obviously, there are camps. There's Akhilesh camp and the, uh, and the Mulayam Singh camp. They're talking in two different voices. But if you talk about the stand of the party as a whole, how would you really gauge their stand at the moment? How are they positioning themselves? Clearly, there is no one stand of the Samajwadi party at the moment. We have, uh, I mean, uh, visible evidence for that. So there is a division. And we have discussed this. The division is uh, along the lines of uh, Shipal and uh, his elder brother Mulayam Singh Yadav on the one side and uh, Akhilesh and uh, the younger elements of the party on the other, including uh, Ram Gopal Yadav. Right. So, uh, the, it, it's all very, uh, it, it's completely public. So, do you so see, do to you that extent, the opposition unity stands diluted. Right. But do you see an indication where Mulayam Singh Yadav and Shripal Yadav probably would cozy up to NDA or rather BJP as well? I uh, will not rule it out. Okay. Because both of them, uh, and uh, if you look at the career of Mulayam Singh Yadav, uh, you will see that he has changed sides at the last moment uh, a little all too often. So there are, uh, okay, he so has certain, both of them, <laughs> especially Mulayam Singh Yadav has some cases which always, uh, I mean, sort of uh, hang above his head as, uh, as the democracy's sword. And that may be one reason he, beyond a point, he will not go against the, any uh, central government. And what Rahul Ji, when we talk about UP, the Mayawati's statement was put in the vote, they said that it's good, two candidates, two candidates, कोई भी जीते कम से कम दलित होगा थोड़ा सा नए संकेत हैं पहले से मुझे अच्छा नहीं लगा ये ये कहना उनका ये तो सबको दिख ही रहा है इसमें कौन सी बात है लेकिन अगर मायावती इस समय कोई बड़ी बात कहती हैं एक बड़ा विचार देती हैं तो वो ज़्यादा शोभा देता वो एक राष्ट्रीय स्तर की नेता हैं और अगर मायावती भी यही सिर्फ यही एकमात्र उनके लिए सबसे बड़ी बात हो इस चुनाव की कि दोनों उम्मीदवार दलित हैं तो इसका मतलब ये मानना पड़ेगा कि उनके हिसाब से इसके अलावा देश के सामने कोई मुद्दा ही नहीं है और राष्ट्रपति चुनाव में यही एक कसौटी होनी चाहिए और इसके अलावा और कसौटी नहीं होना चाहिए वो महत्वपूर्ण नहीं है ये ये दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है और ये एक संकीर्ण सोच है उनको वो जाहिर है कोई माने वो नहीं मानेंगे इसको लेकिन ये एक बड़े विचार को दिखाता नहीं Mr. Rahul has uh, pointed out. But Mr. Akhmihotri, what is your assessment? Uh, uh, leaders like uh, Mayawati or for that matter even Mulayam Singh, all these regional shatraps, the so-called regional shatraps, are they also playing to the gallery? They say Hindi mein bolte hain, Baiti Ganga mein haat dona and maybe those, those parochial ideas, you know, are getting drowned in this vast ocean of the presidential election. I would put it like that. How, how would you see it? You see, in politics, they say there are no permanent friends and there are no permanent enemies. Okay. So it is all situational. So today they may appear to be favoring going in one way, but when the next general elections come around and when the elections to the UP are held, then I think different kind of equations will be there. So one can't really say that this is their final stand or this is their... But uh, if you look at the two contestants, uh, obviously the credibility is, is not an issue at all. Obviously caste has been made into a big issue by the media and by the analysts that it's a Dalit versus Dalit. But what has been the most overpowering factor when you look at, uh, at the entire persona of the two uh, contestants? Well, I would not like to comment on the individuals. Mm -hmm. But uh, Rahulji said something very good and uh, very quintessential. But we did not uh, follow it up. He, he said that the ideal would have been if the best persons, most, most outstanding persons in the country were selected by both the ruling party and also the opposition. And they, they were selected on the ground of the, their being eminent, outstanding, which was obviously not done, which has been done in the past. Very often it has been uh, done. So the 
the ideal situation in presidential election i would try like to sum up would be if a person can be found an outstanding person can be found who is acceptable to all and he can be elected by a consensus lekin ye to bada mushkil lagta hai rajnitik mein kashish but but it is not necessary in a democracy opposition is as important mm. as the ruling party so the second best is that persons of outstanding stature at the national level are selected by both the opposition and the ruling party as rahul ji said and they fight elections on the basis of their uh, vision of uh, national good right subhash ji and the second thing i would like to say is the question you had asked in the very beginning reforms i think it would be most helpful if the nominees of both the opposition and the ruling party or parties are announced at least a month in advance mm. and people have a role and a say in regard to the candidates so, right, may, right now suppose... the people the president is supposed to be the first citizen of the country right. but the ordinary citizens have absolutely no say no say in the matter of if the names are announced in advance or at least discussed in the public domain mm. the alternatives in this election a very important point very significant point kavid agar samay ho ji bilkul abhi to ek ek mahatvapurna isse juda hua mudda hai jo main chahunga ki subhash ji yahan par hain aur agnihotri ji hain ki ek prashn kai baar ye beech mein uthta hai ki kya rashtrapati ko अनिवार्यता एक राजनीतिक व्यक्ति होना चाहिए या अराजनीतिक व्यक्तियों को राष्ट्रपति के लिए हमें वरीयता देनी चाहिए उनको प्रेफर करना चाहिए इस पर भी मैं समझता हूँ कि हम विचार कर सकते आई थिंक दर्सन शुड बी ऑफ आउट स्टैंडिंग एबिलिटी एंड आउट स्टैंडिंग स्टेचर इन एनी फील्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल कलाम वॉज आउट स्टैंडिंग पर्सनैलिटी इन इन साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी so a person outstanding in any particular field is because any citizen every citizen is qualified to be the president if he right. has the requisite age etc right but uh, rahul if i could if i could just get in you here uh, like what he said the credentials of the personality that he should rise above the politics rise above the politics of the day and prove himself as the top constitutional head of the country of course the post is ceremonial but he has to prove beyond politics but easier said than done democracy is also about making the right noises and when it comes to 2017 president elections have the right right noises really come out from the political quarters several political quarters cutting across the party lines I am submitting that the presidential election and the office of the president should not be about making the right so called right politically correct noises we okay. have the entire political superstructure of the country uh, for for making those noises for symbolic gestures for doing things with all the power given by the constitution to the executive right. to do what it wants to change things change the country change society reform but what i'm suggesting is at least uh, my own uh, personal view is i would favor a non political eminent obviously eminent and uh, non controversial um, uh, person of character and and, and clear public public right. service record of public service to to be elected president or to contest as i mean Rahul, let the contest be like uh, between two such eminent personalities right. rather than two hard boiled career politicians but i totally agree with what you're saying uh, mr rahul dev but but the kind of binaries on which the present uh, uh, presidential election has been based on you look at the way uh, meera kumar went and sought votes from the legislators you went you you see the way ramnath kovind went and spoke to the legislators so there are two binaries one is obviously a secular lobby one is obviously a a, a a communal lobby and the kind of narrative under which the votes are being sought obviously the campaign hasn't been acrimonious it hasn't at least it it doesn't look political on the face of it but when these kind of binaries exist how hard is it to resist the undercurrents the political undercurrents is it is it not a very difficult task look if you have to justify what is 
being done uh, because uh, there is no better alternative at the moment or it appears on the horizon, then uh, we are uh, still uh, uh, caught in the same, same web. How do we get out of it? We get out of it by, by doing something new and fresh. So, uh, obviously, any presidential can candidate, whether a career politician or a non-political person, has to go out and uh, sort of ways for himself and herself uh, to the electoral college. That goes without saying, that's the system. So, they are going to MLAs and MPs and uh, different states and talking about what they stand for, what is their vision, etc., is absolutely normal, absolutely natural and it to be expected. Anyone would do that, but they, because that is what your system is. What I am saying is, having a different kind of contest, it is possible. It has been possible for some time in our past, so it should be possible in the future also. If the voting has to be on party lines, then all this is a farce. Going, going canvassing, seeking votes means nothing if, if the right. voting has to be strictly on party lines. So, Kavitra has the Sanskrit neologism says that Rashtrapati means the lord of the realm. So, it's going to be a lord or a lady. What is your hunch? Chela filhaal, lekin dekhna ho ga. Ek close karna hai, kyunki se pehle hum ek naya segment pe jayenge aur reporter bhi maas saath rakhenge. Ek chota sa comment aapka, jo aap sujhao jo ek Rao ji ne kaha tha. Us pe aap... Nii, mujhe ye kehna hai ki jo ek system banaya gaya ya procedure banaya gaya ya practice banai gai रूल बनाया गया कि प्रेसिडेंट के लिए जो खड़ा होगा उसको 50 नामी ने प्रस्तावित करना 50 लोगों को अमीन कलेक्टर्स को करना तो उससे ये अब पॉलिटिकल नहीं हो सकता अनलेस देयर इज अ लॉ और कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज अमेंडेड एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रोवाइड्स दैट अ पर्सन who has never been a member of a political party ओनली कैन कंटेस्ट व्हिच इज नेक्स्ट टू इंपॉसिबल नेक्स्ट टू इंपॉसिबल बट let me tell you, there can be one way out. No, you, one way out. That is, let the president be on the basis of the person decided by the ruling coalition and let the vice president be as per the decision of the other, I mean, opposition or the coalition of the opposition. If that is done, hmm. then I think it will help running of the Ras Sabha, it will be easier. Tell you. And if the... It of the, the, the first uh, option, I mean the first uh, move, the first mover option is what decides, then I think the, the next election is more in favor of the opposition because they have made their first move before the ruling coalition. Or sir, Kriti, Mara Saath hai. Kriti, kya is waqt taza wahaan par jarkari bil rahi hai? Sankhya is waqt kahun, zaadar vote ho chuke hai? Ya fir bhi bhi... बड़ी संख्या है बाकी जो लंच के बाद शायद नजर आएंगे जी हाँ कविंद्र देखिए सुबह प्रधानमंत्री ने जब अपना वोट कास्ट किया उसके बाद कई बड़े लीडर्स ने अपना वोट कास्ट किया उसके बाद से लगातार हम देख रहे हैं कि जो संख्या थी वो कम होती जा रही है मोमेंटम कहीं ना कहीं अभी धीरे पड़ चुका है और एक्सपेक्टेड है कि पोस्ट लंच जो लंच के बाद का सेशन होगा उसमें जितने रिमेनिंग एमपीज़ हैं वो आकर अपना वोट कास्ट करेंगे तो लगातार ये प्रक्रिया चल रही है और जो सबसे बड़ी बात जो खास बात कई मेंबर्स आकर अपना एक्सपीरियंस शेयर कर रहे हैं वो स्पेशल पेन जो इलेक्शन कमीशन के द्वारा प्रोवाइड की गई है वोटिंग चैम्बर में जाने से पहले उसको किस तरह से यूज़ किया उसका अपना जो एक्सपीरियंस है वो हमसे साझा कर रहे हैं तो अभी एक्सपेक्टेड है कि लंच के बाद कई लोग और आएंगे कई एम और आएंगे और अपना वोट कास्ट करेंगे इस प्रेसिडेंशियल पोल में चलिए शुक्रिया करती है आपका पार्लियामेंट से ताज़ा वीर देने के लिए और बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आप तीनों मेहमानों का हमारे साथ इस अहम चर्चा में जुड़ने के लिए और राष्ट्रपति चुनाव पर हमारी खास कवरेज लगातार जारी है आइए आपको दिखाते हैं पूर्व राष्ट्रपतियों के सफरनामे पर राज्यसभा टीवी की ये विशेष कवरेज एक खास कार्यक्रम